Hello everyone, today we will see how to write Linux images to microSD card and typically we use these Linux images for Raspberry Pi, BeagleBoard, Panda Board and some ARM based tablets as well. So how to do that? What all do you require? We require a hardware, microSD card, a card adapter or reader and of course computer. So simply insert this micro SD card to your card adapter insert it to your computer and after that you need to require a software tool which is typically to copy your Linux image to your micro SD card so before that of course we need a Linux image to write this particular video we will use Linux image for Akash tablet so Aka is a low cost 7 inch android based tablet which can be booted to Linux as well if you insert a micro SD card. It's an Alvinar A13 based tablet. So what I'm going to do is I will go to Linux on Aka's Android portal Linux on Aka's repository. Download this 2.4 GB Linux image. It's a tar.bz2 compressed. Right click. I won't recommend you to download from browser. Just copy the link. Use wget -c. -c will resume any failed attempts, download attempts, and it will resume from where it has been failed. Just enter, and it will start downloading. I won't download it because I have already downloaded this before. Just cancel it. Clear the screen. And after you get this image, you need to verify the image with md 5 sum. The md 5 sum given is on the website. You just need to verify. I've already done that. The command is md 5 sum your location of the bz2 image. It is the same bz2 image which you get from this link. The md 5 is this one. If you visually verify, they are same. Now you need to uncompress the image. So you can either go to your file browser and browse to this directory, right click on that and say compress, uh, uncompress here or extract here. Or you can use a command line tool known as tar icon xjbf and give the path and hit enter. This will also create your img file. So the file will look like something like this. Yes, so it will be like Akash Linux of IMG. Fine. So we need to write this file, this IMG image file, to our SD card. And before that, let us find out the file of this size of this file. To do that, I can do du hyphen sh, it says 7.5 GB. If you remember, I told you that this image was 2.4 GB, and we got a 7.5 GB image. To write this 7.5 GB, we can use any SD card above 8 GB. So for this purpose, we have already chosen our SD card, which is of 8 GB size. Now we require a tool to write this 7.5 GB image file to our micro SD card. The basic and most widely used tool is dd command. So know more about dd, just do man dd. It will convert and copy a file. Essentially, it says that it will copy your file, that is, it will copy your Linux file this file image file to your micro sd card but i won't suggest you to use dd directly because it is potentially uh, i would say a dangerous command and because if you accidentally give a wrong path for your device it might damage your internal drive or some other drive which you are not intended to write so what I suggest is use a wrapper script or a tool similar to 
a DD maker which is available freely from this page. Just go to github.com and row portal DD maker. You can simply download this DD maker.dev file. Click on this. Save. I have already downloaded it so I won't be doing it again. Install it. To install just to cd gdb hyphen n and it's for non interactive or path pass dd maker so i think i have already installed dd maker so need not to install it again what i will do is i will just invoke DD Maker here, yes. So, this is a graphical tool, it's based on Zenity package. Just click on this DD Maker tool. And yes, actually, it was previously installed, it's in different name, probably. So first it will ask a few questions. So it has four steps, step one to step four. Step one it says remove your drive and press yes to continue. You just remove my drive. Now insert your drive back. So DD Maker will ensure that we are not using some other media for this DD operation. And press yes. So it will try to detect our micro SD card so it says 7.4 GB detected so we know we have inserted an 8 GB card and we haven't inserted any 8 GB pen drive so we are almost certain that whatever we inserted is is our drive so we DD maker can write to this drive which is of 7.4 GB and press yes to continue okay I know my path go to ISO images Akash the next week all touch screens okay and that's it it will give you a graphical progress bar it says for 8 gb card it may take 35 minutes you can easily calculate if you have a 16 gb image it will take say 1 hour 10 minutes if you have a 4 gb image it might take 15 minutes so on and so forth and this particular tool DD maker you can use for any purpose maybe for your raspberry pi maybe for your beagle board for any to write any image you can use this DD maker tool so suppose you are not using a depth based system so in that case you can simply download this DD maker.sh file just click it click on it go to raw right click and save page All files okay, it's already there. Fine. So, what you can do is you can just simply write bash slash temp slash dd maker.sh. So, if you don't have a dip based system, suppose you are using a Fedora, CentOS, Mandriva, or any other distribution, you can simply run this bash script and that will again pop up your Zenity window and you will get similar interface four steps and all the steps will be the same. That's all. After this, what you have to do is when you when this process finished, it gives you a pop up saying that please remove your micro SD card, please remove them, and then you just follow this screen, <coughs> these images, remove your micro SD card, then insert it to your tablet or your board, whatever. In our case, for this Akash tablet, long press the power button for 10 seconds or so, you will get a boot splash and finally you will get a custom LXT desktop with 12.10 repositories. That's all. Thanks for watching.